Hello friends, the topic of this video is femoral triangle. This is an important topic from lower limb and a short note or a long question can be asked in the exams. The long question is usually in this form, describe femoral triangle under the following headings, boundaries, contents and the relevant applied aspect. You can also be asked to enumerate the contents of the femoral triangle. Now, if you get a long question or a short note also, you should begin your answer always with introduction. So, let us see what exactly is femoral triangle. Femoral triangle, it is a triangular depression located below the inguinal ligament in the upper third of front of thigh. So, this is what you can see here. This is the front of the thigh and if you divide it into three parts, lower, middle and upper, then the Femoral triangle is located in the upper one third of the front of thigh and just below a ligament here which stretches between anterior superior leg spine and pubic tubercle known as inguinal ligament. So next is boundaries of femoral triangle. As the name suggests triangle, so it will have three sides to this. So the triangle has a base, it has an apex and it has two sides also. So let us begin with the base. Which structure forms the base? Inguinal ligament. As I said, you can see this is the ligament and this is nothing but folded aponeurosis of external oblique muscle of the anterior abdominal wall and it stretches between the anterior superior iliac spine of the hip bone and the pubic tubercle of the same bone. Now, next boundary, let us see the lateral and the medial boundaries. This is lateral side and this is medial side. This muscle is sartorius and this muscle is adductor longus. So, the lateral boundary, that will be formed by the medial border of sartorius. So, this is lateral border and this is the medial border. So, medial border of sartorius will form the lateral boundary. Then, the medial border of adductor longus that is going to form the medial boundary. This you have to remember it is the medial border not the lateral border because adductor longus will also be forming the floor of the triangle. Right. So, you just remember both are medial border. This you must remember students make a mistake here. Right. So, medial border of adductor longus. Let us see where is the apex. Apex is here where the sartorius meets the adductor longus that is where the medial boundary meets the sorry the lateral boundary meets the medial boundary so let us once again see the lateral uh, boundary is formed by medial border of sartorius medial boundary is formed by medial border of adductor longus base is formed by inguinal ligament and apex is where the sartorius meets the adductor longus now let us see the roof, how the roof is formed. So obviously the first structure, right, that will be skin. So the most superficial structure is skin. So skin has been removed from here. And what comes next to the skin? Superficial fascia. So in the superficial fascia, what all will be present in the femoral triangle, right? So here, suppose this is our femoral triangle. So we will have the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. This is the horizontal group and this is the vertical group which you can see here. So superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Then what else will be there? There will be a nerve. And this nerve is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. You can see here it is running in front of the femoral artery. And this nerve is going to supply the skin over the femoral triangle. So femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. Next will be the superficial branches of the femoral artery and the accompanying veins will be there. So, you just remember because this is superficial fascia. So, superficial structure, superficial inguinal group of lymph nodes, superficial branches of femoral arteries, superficial tributaries of the great saphenous vein, they will be there. So, let us see which arteries uh, will be there. Superficial circumflex iliac artery and the vein that can be seen here. Then next would be here that is superficial epigastric vessels. So, here you can see they are going towards the umbilicus, anterior abdominal wall, superficial epigastric vessels. And third, which will be going towards the genitalia, these are superficial external pudendal vessels. So, these structures will be present, that is artery and vein. What else will be there? Which vein? The another vein, which is the longest vein in our body, right? This is the great saphenous vein, which also 
is a superficial vein which runs in the superficial fascia here and after that what will we have then we will have this greenish structure which you can see this is the deep fascia or we call it fascia lata so this is present is the deepest structure after that we will have the contents of the femoral triangle which you can see uh, the femoral artery and the femoral vein so skin is there in the roof then superficial fascia superficial fascia will what, what will it contain it can be lymph nodes they can be nerve they will be arteries and they will be veins so which group of lymph nodes superficial inguinal lymph nodes which arteries and veins superficial so superficial circumflex iliac superficial epigastric superficial external pudendal vessels plus the great saphenous vein then nerve can be also there which nerve is there femoral branch of genito femoral nerve and then the deep fascia so the floor of the femoral triangle it is gutter shaped right so it is slightly slanting right towards the middle part and this is formed by four muscles from lateral to medial these are iliacus psoas major pectineus and adductor longus how you can remember this remember the adductor longus is forming the medial boundaries and it belongs to the medial most compartment so this muscle has to be most medial that way you can remember and iliacus this will take origin from the iliac fossa right so it has to be most laterally placed there it is always accompanied by psoas major so next muscle has to be psoas major and the third muscle which you can see here right this is the pectineus so four muscles you'll remember they are forming the floor so now next comes contents of femoral triangle look at the name femoral right that means here you will have what can you have it in any space or region of any part of the body you can have arteries you can have veins you can have nerves you can have lymph nodes these are the main structures which can be present here so here what will we have in femoral triangle obviously we will have femoral artery so you can see here femoral artery and its branches then we will have femoral vein and its tributaries and then we will also have femoral nerve but besides that we will also have two more nerves so in total how many nerves we will have three nerves so the three nerves if we start from lateral to medial they are lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh then the next will be the femoral nerve and its branches will be there and the third nerve is the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve we have also seen this nerve in the roof so this nerve is going to pierce the deep fascia reach the superficial fascia and then supply the skin over the femoral triangle so this is femoral branch of genito femoral nerve next what we will have we'll have some lymph nodes now these lymph nodes are present deep to the deep fascia so that's why they are called deep inguinal lymph nodes in the roof we have superficial inguinal lymph nodes so these are the contents of the femoral triangle now let us look at the arteries which arteries are present in the femoral triangle as i said earlier they will be branches of femoral arteries so let us see here first we will have some superficial branches of femoral artery how many branches three branches will be there which we have already seen in the roof so in the roof they will be running but their origin will be within the femoral triangle so they originate from the femoral artery within the femoral triangle then they are going to pierce the fascia and run their course in the superficial fascia in the roof of the femoral triangle so these three arteries these are superficial circumflex iliac so this is the femoral artery the thick artery which you can see here so superficial circumflex iliac then we have superficial epigastric and then we have the superficial external pudendal this we have already seen so these three arteries would be there now coming to the deep branches of the femoral artery so here again superficial epigastric superficial circumflex iliac and superficial external pudendal arteries deep branches now let us see here the deep branches again you will find here two important branches will be there and some muscular branches are obviously there so two important branches they will be profunda femoris right so you can see here 
this is the profunda femoris artery and its two main branches will be also present in the femoral triangle they will also originate right in the femoral triangle and these are the lateral circumflex femoral and medial circumflex femoral these are branches of profunda femoris the second deep artery would be the deep external pudendal artery so this will be also going to the external genitalia so these two are branches of uh, the deep branches of femoral artery deep external pudendal and profunda femoris and its two main branches these are lateral and medial circumflex femoral so these are the branches of femoral artery which will originate in the femoral triangle now let us see the veins present in the femoral triangles so they will be the femoral vein and its tributaries let us look which tributaries will be there you can see here this thick vein this is the femoral vein so which tributaries will be there the great saphenous vein it's distal most part right the part which is going to open into the femoral vein right or drain into femoral vein this part right this will be there in the femoral triangle and then we will also have here the terminal part of profunda femoris vein this will also drain into this next will be the deep external pudendal vein so you will remember this way the remember the deep arteries were profunda femoris artery and deep external pudendal so the veins accompanying them will be also draining here now next which vein which will be there you will also have lateral circumflex femoral and medial circumflex femoral vein also draining into this now what you have to remember here is uh, we have not included the superficial branch uh, sorry tributaries of great saphenous vein right so the superficial circumflex iliac superficial epigastric and superficial external pudendal these veins will not form content of the femoral triangle why because they drain into great saphenous vein before it pierces the cribriform fascia so these veins will be running in the superficial fascia so these veins will be present in the roof of the femoral triangle but they will not be forming the content of the femoral triangle so rest of the things we have already seen just repeating that the three nerves that will be present from lateral to medial they are lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh femoral nerve and the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve then the fourth thing that we have is the deep inguinal lymph nodes and finally all around this you will also have fibro fatty tissue coming to applied aspect Uh, suppose there is a stab injury or a bullet injury at the apex of the femoral triangle then one has to be very careful because here the four blood vessels major blood vessels of thigh they lie in one line or one plane you can say one behind the other so a stab injury at the apex of the femoral triangle may injure the following structures from before backwards how these structures are arranged at the apex first is the most superficial is the femoral artery right then after that there is femoral vein then we have the profunda femoris vein and then profunda femoris artery so just remember artery is present anteriorly and most posterior structure in between you have the veins so starting again femoral artery femoral vein uh, profunda femoris vein and profunda femoris artery it can lead to severe hemorrhage here the next applied aspect that you can write here is about the femoral sheath and femoral hernia but i'll consider that topic in a separate video because you can get a separate short note either on femoral hernia or on the femoral sheath but if you get a long question on femoral triangle do add a note on the femoral sheath and femoral hernia also so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh, the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again